We'll look at uh, Acts chapter 5. Acts chapter 5, uh, but a certain man named Ananias with Sapphira, his wife, sold a possession and kept back part of the price, his wife also being privy to it, and brought a certain part and laid it at the apostles' feet. But Jesus said, Ananias, why has Satan filled thine heart to lie to the Holy Spirit and to keep back part of the price of the land? Was it remained, was it not uh, thine own? And after it was sold, was it not in thine own power? Why hast thou conceived this thing in thine heart? Thou hast not lied unto men, but unto God. And Ananias, hearing these words, fell down and gave up the spirit. And uh, great fear came on all them that heard these things. And the young men arose and uh, wound him up and carried him out and buried him. And it was about the space of three hours after when his wife, not knowing what was done, came in. And Peter answered unto her, uh, Tell me whether ye sold the land for so much. And she said, Yea, for so much. Then Peter said unto her, How is it that ye have uh, agreed together to tempt the Spirit of the Lord? Behold, the feet of them which have buried thy husband are at the door, and shall carry thee out. Then fell she down straightway at his feet, and yielded up the spirit. And the young men came in, and found her dead, and carried her forth, buried, and carrying her forth, buried her by her husband. And great fear came uh, upon all the church, and upon as many as heard these things. And by the hands of the apostles were many signs and wonders wrought among the people, and they were all with one accord in Solomon's porch. And of the rest durst no man join himself to them. In other words, no man dared to join themselves uh, unto them. But the people magnified them, and believers were the more added to the Lord, multitudes both of men and women insomuch that they brought forth the sick into the streets and laid them on beds and couches that at the least the shadow of Peter passing by might overshadow some of them. There came also a multitude out of the cities round about unto Jerusalem, bringing sick folks and them which were vexed with unclean spirits, in other words, people who were demon-possessed, and they were healed every one. Then the high priest rose up, and all they that were with him, which is the sect of the Sadducees, and were filled with indignation. Otherwise, they were very angry. And laid their hands on the apostles and put them in the common prison. But the angel of the Lord by night opened the prison doors and brought them forth and said, Go stand and speak in the temple to the people all the words of this life. And when they uh, heard that, they entered into the temple early in the morning and taught. But the high priest came and they that were with him and called the council together and all the senate of the children of Israel and sent to the prison of, uh, to have them brought. But when the officers came and found them not in the prison, they returned and told, saying, "This uh, the prison truly found we shut with all safety and the keepers standing without before the doors. But when we had opened, we found no man within. Now when the high priest and the captain of the temple and the chief uh, priests heard these things, they doubted of them where unto this would grow. Then came one and told them, saying, Behold, the men whom ye put in prison are standing in the temple and teaching the people. Then went the captain with the officers and brought them without violence, for they feared the people, lest they should be, have been stoned. And when they had uh, brought them, they set them before the council, and the high priest asked them, saying, Did not we straightly command you that ye should not teach in this name? And behold, ye have filled Jerusalem with your doctrine, and intend to bring this man's blood upon us. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than men. 
the God of our fathers raised up Jesus whom ye slew and hanged on a tree him hath God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a saviour for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins we are witnesses of these things and so is also the Holy Spirit whom God hath given to them that obey him when they heard that they were cut to the heart and took counsel to slay them then stood there up one in the council a Pharisee named Gamaliel a doctor of the law had in reputation among all the people and commanded to put the apostles forth a little space and said unto them ye men of Israel take heed to yourselves what ye intend to do as touching these men for before these days rose up Phidias boasting himself to be somebody to whom a number of men about 400 joined themselves who was slain and all as many as obeyed him were scattered and brought to naught after this man rose up Judas of Galilee in the days of the taxing and drew away much people after him uh, he also perished and all even as many as obeyed him were dispersed and now I say unto you refrain from these men let them go alone for if this counsel or this work be of men it will come to naught but if it be of God you cannot overthrow it lest haply you be found even to fight against God and to him they agreed and when they had called the apostles and beaten them they commanded that they should not speak in the name of Jesus and let them go and they departed from the presence of the council rejoicing that they were counted worthy to uh, suffer shame for his name and daily in the temple and in every house they cease not to teach and preach Jesus Christ Acts chapter five, uh, 6 and in those days when the uh, number of the disciples were, was multiplied there arose a murmuring of the uh, Grecians against the Hebrews because their widows were neglected in the daily ministration then the twelve called the multitude of the disciples unto them and said it is not reason that we should have uh, leave the word of God and serve tables wherefore brethren look ye out among you seven men of honest report full of the Holy Spirit and wisdom whom we may appoint over this business but we will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word of God of the word and the saying pleased the whole multitude and they chose Stephen a man full of faith and of the Holy Spirit and Philip and uh, Prychorus and Nicanor and Timon and uh, Parmenas and Nicholas a proselyte of Antioch whom they set before the uh, apostles and when they had prayed they laid their hands on them and the word of God increased and the number of the disciples multiplied in Jerusalem greatly and a great company of the priests were obedient to the faith then, and Stephen full of faith and power did great wonders and miracles among the people then there arose certain of the synagogue uh, which is called the synagogue of the Libertines and Cyrenians and Alexandrians and of them of uh, Cilicia and of Asia disputing with Stephen and they were not able to resist the wisdom and the spirit by which he spake then they suborned men which said we have heard him speak blasphemous words against Moses and against God and they stirred up the people and they stirred up the people uh, and the elders uh, and the scribes and came upon him and caught him and besought and brought him to the council and set up false witnesses which said this man ceaseth not to speak blasphemous words against this holy place and the law for we have heard him say that this Jesus of Nazareth shall destroy this place and shall change the customs which Moses delivered us and all that sat in the council looking steadfastly on him saw his face as it had been the face of an angel 
And these times were wonderful times in the people of God when, when there was a lot of people being saved. And I hope that that will happen tonight. Just as we preach unto you that the Lord Jesus Christ is the only Saviour for us poor sinners, we need to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to become children of God through faith alone in Him. I wonder what will you do then with Jesus which is called the Christ. He can be your Saviour, my friend, this, this night if you will come in repentance toward God, as I've said, that is a change of mind, simply agree with God that you are a sinner and then place your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Are you prepared to do that tonight, my friend? Get right with God as a result of repentance toward God and faith toward our Lord Jesus Christ. Just admit the fact before God that you are a sinner and then put your faith in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Are you prepared to do that, my friend? Otherwise, if you die without Jesus Christ as your Saviour, you will be in hell, my friend. God wants you to be in heaven. I wonder what will you do then with Jesus, which is called the Christ? Will he be your Saviour or will he have to be your judge? It's up to you. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. You and I have to realise we're sinners in the sight of the Lord. We need salvation. We need forgiveness for those sins. Otherwise, at the moment of death, we'll be in hell, my friend. God wants you to be in heaven. And that's why the Father sent the Son to be the Saviour of the world, in whom we have redemption, through his blood even, the forgiveness of sins. If you're interested in this, look me up, youtube.com forward slash peace by Jesus Christ. God bless you, and thanks for listening. Yeah, I will. How are you? Let's pray for me, brother. Pray for you, yeah. What was your name? Brett. Brett? Yeah. Lord, we just come to thee again in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I just pray unto thee for Brett. Whatever his spiritual needs are at this time, they might be met, Lord. Thou knowest his need, whether it's for salvation or whatever it might be, that the spiritual redemption. needs might be might be need, redemption. We know that he needs redemption, Amen. Lord. He needs salvation. Just yeah. pray that tonight he might receive thy son at his own as his own personal saviour. Just ask these things again in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, praying Amen. thy blessing upon thy word in his precious name. In Amen. Jesus name. Amen. Thanks for Thanks for talking, Brett. I appreciate that. Yeah, thanks for listening and thanks for hanging around. And I really appreciate that. My name's Dave, anyway. Brett. Yeah. Oh, we've met a few times. Have we? Oh, I, I, okay. I can't even remember. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, I is do. it is it sort of in this area that we've met or somewhere oh, else? Or maybe somewhere else. Were you preaching here about six months ago? Oh, I I do come here from time to time, but yeah. I'm all over the place. I, I preach in different locations. Sort I don't of thing. care. I've got so, not going to stop you. Yeah. Yeah, no, well, thanks for, thanks for the talk, and um, I hope you've understood what I've said. Oh, I and, already uh, know, you know it. Yeah, you know it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That we're sinners, and we need God's oh, salvation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, and, you know, and you know that you need to agree with God. Hey, I realise I'm a sinner, okay. you know, and then reach out to the Lord Jesus Christ in faith. I mean, I know he's not here on earth, but no, we need to... No, but your hands we need and to, your, your, like, the body and... Oh, it's got nothing to do with me. I can't. Uh, I've already had that. I, I can't bring you salvation. You know what I mean? I can't do that. Only Christ can give you no, salvation. No. He that hath the Son hath life. He that hath not the Son of God hath not life. So we need to believe on Christ. We need to receive oh, Him already, yes. as our Saviour. I've know? got a key. But then God goes, one day I'm going to wipe. It's hard. Yeah. Because I know it too yeah. well. Yeah. You, you know. Yeah. You. Biblical. You, yeah. 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 Yeah, well... An action all. Brett, 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 wasn't it? Yeah. Thanks for the talk, Brett. I really appreciate that. And, um, yeah, I'll get going home. And, Why? Uh, well, because I I've... I don't really to hear the word. Because I need to get out of the park I'm in, because the park I'm in is only for 15 minutes. Oh, And I'm okay, running short on time. I'm running short on time there. There it is. Oh, that's good. So, yeah. <laughs>
Yeah, where, so where, where's your church? So I really well, we meet at uh, we meet at um, Burley so Heads. Churches too. Or we're three together. You know? yeah, yeah, well, yeah, well, where where we meet is uh, number five Anzac Parade, Burley Heads. It's the Gospel Hall, actually. That, that's where it is. I haven't actually got an invitation on me now, I don't think. But I'm, yeah, but basically 4:30 in the what's afternoon. What's your um, uh, Facebook? Sorry. Facebook. Facebook. Oh, that. Oh, I don't know. That's uh, a bit oh, what's your number? I'm not sure how. Oh, it's on that card there. It's on that card, oh, but I mean, I'll get that. You can, yeah, yeah, it's on the back of that card. So also, I'm going my, for a bit of also my YouTube right. YouTube struggle. channel as well. You know, you're going through a struggle at the moment. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll be praying for you, Brett. Yeah, yeah. It was nice to meet you, and uh, I hope you have a good night. Yeah. Thanks for the talk. I really appreciate that. Me too. I better get out of this park because we're run out of time. <laughs> yeah. See you later. Anyway, have a good night. See ya. You too.